a wake-up call for the PNG Kumuls after a dismal performance against Fiji Bati, a 43 points to 16 flogging, a 7 tries to 3 victory over the home side. Kumuls coach Justin Holbrook had nothing much to say but apologized to the fans that turned up in droves. A crowd of 14,300 plus filled the stadium. But as the game progressed, it was the Fijians in the crowd that were in the frenzy, with blue flags flying high amongst the crowd. The PNG Kumuls fans even started leaving with 20 minutes to go before full time. Obviously we're lucky that we get to play next week, so we'd love for them all to come back and, and obviously it's a final. You know, we we wanted to win both games. We we didn't shy away from that, but we were by far beaten easily today. But next week's the final, you know, we're playing for the Pacific Bowl and that's that's what we want to win. So um, we'd love everyone to come back because we don't get to play here too often and, and the boys know that and they're really disappointed about the performance we put out there today. So um, yeah, if everyone can come back, um, you know cheer loud for, for the home team, that'd be great. On the field, it was a team in turmoil, with the Kumuls on the back foot with the Fijians hightailing it up the middle. The fast play off the rock proved too quick for PNG as they struggled to keep up the pace against the Fijians. Despite the Fijian surge up the middle, Kumuls locked forward Jack DeBellin was a machine in defense, and Judah Rimbu offered a spark of flair in the last 30 minutes of the match when he came on even setting up a try for Apple Capinius. Jack was outstanding for us, you know, for how poorly we played. He he played the entire first half and, and only a slight rest in the second half. So he, he's by far our, our best player, yeah. Um, and obviously, yeah, look, Judah did well when he came on, absolutely. You know, tough for Edward. You know, he's flown over from England and completely different conditions and, and we didn't have a lot of ball there. So, but obviously Judah did a great job when he came on. There was no one to be blamed for the loss but themselves and the Kumuls land that the hard way. Fiji were better prepared. Captain Tui Kamikamika praising the team's effort during the week. Like we've been playing PNG for the last couple of years. Even in Australia, it's always a tough game. So our mindset coming to this game, expecting a tough game. Um, just like we spoke about uh, during the week, last week. So the more we can control the rock in the middle, um, we got points all over the park. So um, playing against Kukala last week, that's where we lack in, in defense. So. That's why we've been uh, coach was just saying us uh, it's, it's a big challenge for us middle if you can control the middle uh, today because you know when you play PNG they just run the ball hard they tackle hard so uh, that was our main focus it's a big challenge for us so yeah, I'm pretty happy the, with the result. Fiji coach Waisake Kativerata says he knows what the team is capable of with a combination of skill, natural born talent, and hard work. Kativerata added that they are working hard in preparation for the final on Sunday. We, we know what we do have in our squad. Uh, we spoke about Tui, he's been a great leader for us. You know, uh, with our squad, we got him and a few other uh, forward pack. We, need, we spoke about if we control the rock, we can score anywhere in the field. You know, there's some of the players we do have, you can't teach them what you do have. You're born with it. Sebo is one of them, Ambula. You know, they work hard in the middle. That's why Sebo get reward with two tries. Fidelis Sukina for Inside PNG News.